This, this is the set of my national television series, Nick Stellino's Family Kitchen. Uh, there are three things in life that I'm passionate about. First one is family. The second one is food. And the third one, the third one is watches. Um, I think it was my father who instilled in me the passion for watches. Not that he was a watch collector. Actually, the first important piece that he bought, he bought it the year that I was born. Uh, but my father, just like any other young father, uh, the very beginning of his career had to work very, very hard to establish his business. And uh, many nights we did not see my father for dinner. I remember months and weeks would go by. But every night when he came home, he would always come in the bedroom, my brother and I were sleeping, to check on us. And I would be there waiting for him, awake. And uh, we had a few moments together. The one thing that we did for a long, long time, he would allow me to wind his watch. Uh, it was a, a mechanical watch, and I would wind it with my thumb and my forefinger. And I love to hear the gears uh, engaging, the clicking of it. I remember stainless steel, gold markers. Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, every time I think of my father, I think of him <laughs> with the watch on his wrist. I am passionate about Maurice Lacroix watches, especially the watches which are part of the Masterpiece Collection, and I do own several of those. For watches to be part of the Masterpiece Collection, they must have historical or contemporary mechanical movements with attractive complications developed especially for the Masterpiece Collection. Modified and hand-decorated movements with components of the highest quality. Precision tested in five position. Skeleton rotor on automatic movements. Intricate solid silver dials. High quality folding clasps on leather straps. Screwed case back with sapphire crystal. Well, to prove the point, I have here with me some of my favorite watches, and I want to show you exactly what I mean. This one is one of my most favorite ones, really. It's the Venus 175 caliber. Uh, what I love about this watch is, uh, first and foremost, the dial, and the work on the dial. What you see is uh, a sunburst display of guilloche, hand guilloche work. Uh, it's a very unique way of decorating a dial, and it's a dine art. What I also love is uh, the way in which the branding is placed right in the middle of the sundial pattern, giving an, an element of uh, contrast, which is very difficult to achieve. As we look outward into the watch, uh, pay close attention to the edge of the case. This watch, by the way, is also available in uh, uh, white gold. Uh, the degree of workmanship are elements that really come from uh, an old tradition of watchmaking that displays its greatest design, its greatest skills into these little elements which would otherwise be uh, almost not noticed. The movement, uh, Venus 175, is a hand-wound chronograph, a direct wheel chronograph, one of the most difficult movements to build. Uh, take a look as we're getting closer and closer on the various bridges of this movement on the edges of each of these bridges. Uh, the polishing is unique. The particular technique is called anglage. Uh, what I love about this watch specifically is also uh, the beating heart as we see the uh, gear train in motion. And as we step back a little bit, one of the things that you will notice is the swan neck regulator right there in the background now coming into focus. That is a, a very highly sophisticated way of adjusting the watch for the perfect timekeeping. Uh, one of the things that I love about this watch is the fact that it's hand-wound, a mechanical watch, and uh, you really have to have a relationship with it every time you want to get it started. This is uh, another watch which is part of the uh, Masterpiece Collection. It's based on a Peso 7046 movement, also a movement which is no longer produced, at least serially. Um, it's hand-decorated in a wonderful fashion. In just a moment, I'll show you what the back of it looks like. Look at the wonderful guilloche dial, which truly is a signature of the mastery that Maurice Lacroix has achieved. This is a little attention to details, uh, a bit of an artwork that uh, many of us almost take for granted. We do not notice. The briquet hands are a perfect matching to all the uh, decoration and the elements of beauty within the watch. What you're seeing here is the Peso caliber. What I love about it is the decoration that the masters at Maurice Lacroix placed on the bridges. 
These waves that you see decorated on the metal of the bridges are Côte de Genève. Look how tight they are and how wonderful they are. That to me is a form of art. When I look at these things, I become very excited because it proves to me that there is something amazing about the human spirit and the ability to achieve the impossible. All this, by the way, is done by hand. I find these things amazing. This is the double retrograde. This watch is based on a 6497 United Scalibur. I'll tell you more about that later as I will show you what it is. We have two retrograde functions. The first one is at the bottom of the watch, at the six o'clock market. Those uh, numbers that you see are dates. Once the watch gets all the way to 31, it goes in a retrograde fashion all the way back to one. On top, right at the marker of the 12 number, you see another set of numbers. That is a second time zone. The time zone at the top, as you can see, goes from one to 24, therefore giving you the exact measurement of the hour being morning or being evening. Now let me turn it around because I want to show you what uh, the uh, incredible watchmakers of Maurice Lacroix have been able to do in decorating this moment. I own several watches which do have this movement and none of them matches the intricacy and the design in terms of decoration that this watch has. Stop there for just a moment. Look at the very tight coat de Genève. Look at the anglage on each one of the edges. These steps that appear to be almost machine stand are executed by hand, by people who, in my opinion, are nothing short of artisan, artists, Renaissance men and women, very few that do own the skill of being able to apply this very tight coat de Genève. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm so proud of my watches and why I'm so passionate about Maurice Lacroix, the Masterpiece Collection. All of the watches, from the highest uh, and most expensive one, down to their Pontos collection as well, for those who are just getting involved with the line and looking for an expensive watch, are done with care, attention to detail, and excellency of form and design. And last, let me show you another one of my favorite watches. I have it right here on my wrist. It's been my good luck charm for all 13 episodes of this season. Uh, it's the Reveil Glow, which has three different time zones and an alarm. Let me show you exactly what it looks like. The swatch has three different time zones. The small numbers that you see on the outer perimeter can be rotated through this crown so that they match with one time uh, zone of your choice. Then right above the six o'clock, there's a window that marks another time zone in military time. Uh, right there is uh, 24, that's midnight. Uh, then of course, there is the regular time that we have right here with the two regular hands. Then this white hand right over here, this one marks the time for the alarm. Well, I think that now is the best time for me to shine and show you what is that I do for a masterpiece, and that is cooking. So what I would like to do is share with you some wonderful recipes made with easy ingredients, easy techniques, and I will show you how to turn your home into your favorite restaurant. So stay tuned, because what I'm about to do is share with you some of my secrets from my heart to your kitchen 